Welcome to this microlearning session by Nurse and Education Network. This presentation is around clinical supervision. Key learning outcomes are to provide an overview and a definition of clinical supervision and the purpose of clinical supervision. Look at Proctor's model of supervision, which is the most prevalent in healthcare and move into feedback and effective feedback providing a learning conversation. So clinical supervision is recognized as a formal process of support and learning to develop individual practitioners. And it's a lifelong process. The supervision needs to be in protected time and facilitated and encourage in-depth reflection on clinical events and practice. So let's look at the instructional aspects of clinical supervision from the nurse educator perspective. So not every nurse is going to be interested in understanding and developing formal education skills, but it's likely they're going to be a preceptor or supervisor. So supervision is a vital part of nurse training and skills and ongoing development. So they need to understand the expectations of training, the expectations and outcomes of what's to be assessed and learned. So skills such as reflective practice, assessment, constructive feedback are vital components of the training, whether in an undergraduate or postgraduate setting. One of the most utilized model of supervision is by Proctor. So this is supervision towards reflective practice. And there's three main areas of focus in Proctor's framework, which is the normative. So this is the managerial aspects of practice and learning or CBD core mandatory training. Then there's the formative aspects, really utilizing self-reflection and self-awareness for development. Again, feedback components will be essential in development, formative assessments to lead and guide development of the nurse. Then there's the third, the restorative, supportive aspects for personal development, other cognitive aspects such as stress management and burnout prevention. An important aspect of clinical supervision is going to be the feedback. And we want this to be constructive rather than a destructive process. An approach to utilize is the learning conversation, potentially reframing questions to the learner in the view of if you were the patient, what would you expect to, for care or communication to be delivered? So feedback becomes a, a process which learners make sense of the information and enhances quality of their work, the team and learning strategies. Remember, feedback is an emotional business. So we have to make it a collaborative process. And from that, as we say, we'll utilize approaches that we could use from say the simulation world, this learning conversation, constructive feedback. So no more feedback sandwiches allowed in the clinical environment. Please find the references from this clinical supervision presentation and visit Nursing Education Network blog for more nursing and healthcare education theory.